Hey, this is Greg at Docky Project-Based Learning High School in West Dallas. And today is our Flame of the Phoenix. And typically we spend a couple of minutes highlighting some really cool and awesome student project work that's going on here at Docky. But one of the things that we celebrate at Docky is failure. Yes, you heard that right. We celebrate failure. Failure is actually an expectation at Docky High School because we learn and grow from it. We fail forward, we iterate, we change, we react, we problem solve and we get better. So we know that and we celebrate failure. So today we're gonna do something crazy. And instead of just talking about some amazing project that a student came up with and completed, we're gonna talk about a time where a student experienced failure. And so I have Alyssa with us here today. She's a little shy today, so she didn't wanna go on camera, but that's okay. So just say hi, Alyssa. Hi. So I'm going to ask Alyssa, Alyssa three questions about um, failure because she experienced that recently with the project. So Alyssa, tell us about the initial project plan that you had. What was your project going to be? All right. So um, initially, I wanted to do um, an interrogation analysis of a person who was guilty and a person that was innocent. So some good people that I found would be Chris Watts. He was going to be my guilty subject and um, Brandon Dassey, he was going to be my innocent subject. And um, this was supposed to be for a sociology class or a psychology class. It was supposed to be for um, from and me and him were brainstorming about it a lot. And he actually came up with the idea to use Brandon Dassey as one of my people because he told me about it. And I thought it was really interesting. So I decided to use it. And um, what I wanted to do is I wanted to put a video together, um, analyzing both of these interrogations in their, you know, full length, um, seeing how differently these people react to questions asked by police. Because, you know, when a person's innocent versus when a person is guilty, they definitely have different reactions. And it's very obvious when you're looking at it from an outside perspective, you know, outside of the room, when you're watching these these um, these two people collaborate, you can definitely tell. You can definitely uh, see a lot of different things happening. Cool, that is such a fascinating project. And it's awesome that you could take that, um, the I cans from a psychology or sociology class and then you know create a project around that that obviously you're very interested in. And I'm interested and intrigued just hearing about it. Awesome. What was the, so when it comes to failure, what, when and how, what did you experience with failure? So um, when it came down to um, getting an actual software to use for um, editing these both interrogation clips, uh, I was struggling to find one that I could use or at least one that was good enough quality to use or that I was okay with using and that I knew how to use. So um, I kind of ran into a problem with that. Um, I ended up finding one that I could use, but it necessarily wasn't the best way <laughs> that I could have gotten it. Okay. But, um, I ended up getting it and using it and it ended up failing on me about a third of the way through the project, which is really unfortunate. It's a lot of lost work and a lot of lost time, but I ended up having to rework my project into an all text-based projects with, you know, not as much video involved, but still a little bit of video involved. How many hours were lost, Alyssa? I'd say quite a few, at least six or seven hours just with pure video editing. Oh. But you took that and then decided to um, go with a different program and learn a whole different program. So that's you had to learn a whole new skill set then. I mean, similar with a different editing program, but a whole a whole new program, you had to learn that. Yeah. Wow. What's, okay, so part of the deeper learning competencies at, at um, that we use at Docky is like um, critical thinking and problem solving. So you had to do that. When you failed, you had to, you had to think critically and solve a problem. And so you did that. What, what did you learn from this failure? Um, I learned that I should probably um, not maybe always take easy route when it comes to finding video editing software and maybe try and look for other resources. That was my first big mistake. 
Um, but my second mistake was that I learned how to change a project and adapt it into a new one. And I learned a totally new editing software in the process, which ended up helping me in the long run, I think, because now I know two instead of just one. That's a great and positive way to look at that. But instead of giving up, you persevered and you have a broader skill set now. And you and uh, that's really great. You should be proud of that. I'm proud of you for that. Yeah. Awesome. That's it. That's today's Flame of the Phoenix, where this time we threw a threw you a curveball and we were showing you at, at, at Daki how we celebrate failure and how failure is an expectation. How many schools can say that they expect you to fail? Well, at Daki, we expect you to fail because we know that after you you iterate and you react and change and you problem solve that you're going to get a better product in the end. So Alyssa, thank you so much for volunteering to um, participate, participate today. We appreciate it. Yeah, no problem.